fell in their hearts by the time they were continuing to pressing and through the fear of God many signs and wonders happened if you read verse 46 it says and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking of bread from house to house did it meet with gladness and singleness of heart praising God and having favor with all men and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved meaning that there were people who gave themselves to continue seeking the face of God to hunger for God and uh, I want to take you back what the fear of God does let me tell you the main key that opens various gates that sometimes have been hard to open in your life we know we've been prophesied so many times they are still in the spiritual realm we are waiting for them to come down the fear of God has the ability to bring and to pull all this down hallelujah somebody who feared God in the Bible we read in the book of Genesis chapter 39 we find a good friend of us called Joseph he teach a time he was in the deep of mess when Pot Pot Potiphar's wife wanted to mess around with him what he said how can I sin against my God by doing such a thing that is the fear of God I know there are so many things we really want to live and back where I come from when somebody is into serious addiction you realize that the family will take him even to some people and even to you as a person there are so many things you just decide to leave them to walk out of them fully it is hunger that can bring the fear of God in you automatically without any struggle hallelujah it is hunger and that power of continuation and Joseph said in Genesis 39 9 The Bible says there is no greater in this house than I neither has he kept back anything for me but thee because you are his wife how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God that is the fear of God that we talk about how can I go how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God because the fear of God was in his system and what brings the fear of God continuous hunger there are so many things we really try to pull them down and we go to news we go to Google we try to learn how can we pull out of these things it seems we just come each and every day let's continue seeking the face of god in this house each and every time those who are coming here every evening i salute you a time is coming when automatically because the power of continuation attracts the fear of god automatically and the bible says that great things happened in their midst immediately when these people began to follow god each and every day so that's what joseph did here and immediately after this we know where he went there are so many dreams he had he was seeing himself a king the fear of God that made him to escape this trap where he was now open for him a bigger highway and this one marked his journey to the prison where one day one time when Pharaoh was sleeping and just had a dream and couldn't know because come hang up he could have found himself in the prison the fear of God now began to open greater and mighty loss for him. Hallelujah. But it's being found in the power of continuation. And this morning I was waking somebody to come to prayers and he told me, today I'm tired even if you do what, I will not wake up and go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just to the phone, let me ask you today I cannot make it and now it's raining. Meaning that those people are not yet here, we know how the sleep sounds to be so sweet when it's also raining. They won't find themselves here. But 
the Bible says when the apostles continued continued to seek after God great things began to happen and the fear of God fell in their hearts the other person who also feared God so much is Daniel remember Daniel said in the book of Daniel chapter 1 that we cannot terminate our body we cannot go against our God to eat the king's delicacies because those foods they were made with idols they were not just food it's just like what Adam and Eve did it was not just mere fruit those people did evil before God and the fear of God was also in Daniel and if you go to chapter 6 around verse 9 there you see now whereby Daniel was praying three times every day as he used to do before immediately when the king came and said that as from today there will be worshiping of this idol and anybody who doesn't worship him will be taken to the lion's den but that man the fear of God was in him because he prayed continuously he sought the face of the Lord continuously so I don't know how we are trying to pull out from the weaknesses that we have to walk in the power of God to experience the greater anointing and to be exactly who God wants us to be I don't know the magics which we are trying to work out but the solution clearly is in the continuation of seeking the face of God that was in it's in season or out of season it rains economy is good economy is bad but we must just continue to seek the face of God because the kingdom of darkness the world is so dark children of God it needs light and light comes to somebody who seek God they were in prayer in one accord every day every time and that's even a strong church was formed in the book of Acts of Apostle Amen yesterday I told you guys we think that we are praying a lot we are not yet there we really need sometimes to pinch ourselves and desire to do much more than we had ever done because until today there are some miracles that still we have not walked in we are only used to things that they look like they are miracles but they are not we are sure we are not sure we can have miracles in our hands hallelujah you can see a tangible miracle in your life the power of continuation because holiness is also good that fear of god is that holiness it comes automatically when every time you are desperate to be found in his presence it comes automatically and when it comes it is the key that unlocks everything remember what jesus said in the book of john chapter 14 that the devil has got nothing against me and that's why he was penetrating each and every day hallelujah how many times did they accuse him but he wasn't there and finally then the reason why they killed him this man is saying that is God oh he's saying that he will pull down this temple that was built for so many years around 46 years that he can destroy it in three days just looking for accusation but all those things were fault because that man was being found Jesus himself I think last week we were talking about the hunger that Jesus had Jesus was being found in solitary places most of the times of his life alone against against him alone with god seeking god each and every day and i began well yesterday by saying encourage yourself even when you feel you want to sleep encourage yourself to come into the house of god encourage yourself to continue tarrying encourage yourself to grow encourage yourself 
Just to be strong. Amen. Hallelujah. How many are here today were not here yesterday? Wangatu wako hata leo na wako wako jamu. Hata wewe uko. Praise be to Jesus. And I was saying, you are the people who are only being encouraged by pastor. When pastor is gone to Mombasa, you can't encourage yourself to come. That one is on a polite note. I don't mean it. I know maybe you were just turned up somewhere yesterday by that five. You are not something so big. But there are people whereby the person who stands every day, if he misses, you can't see them. May you encourage yourself in the Lord each and every day to be strong and pray. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Because to you, how God sees you, you are just enough by yourself. And he has ensured, he has put everything in you. That makes you enough. You are the person who is still looking down upon yourself. Encourage yourself. Be found in the place of prayer. The fear of God fall in your heart. Great things begin to happen for you. You begin to impact and to influence. The Bible says that each day God was adding in their midst new believers. Hallelujah. That's where the power was. Every day being found together. They continued steadfastly in prayer. That is the life of hunger. Because hunger should be lifetime. The day you go on break, you say today, this month, I'm not praying. We do take leave. At our level of office, you take leave sometimes. Business, you can say, I've really been to into my job these three months. Let me have just one week to relax. When we come to prayer, we can't take a leave. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Because the devil is active. 24-7 looking for them who are slumber looking for them who cannot encourage themselves then he begins to accuse them and he finds fault in them hallelujah when he begin to search for you when you are not here there are so many things he will find in you that will accuse you with. and some of them seems to be true amen some of them seems to be true that's when the church should not just be a place where we play game and drama. But we need to come into the house of God with the desire to receive light. Light to go against every weakness. Light that is going to guide us even to make right decisions. Light that is going to enable us to stand firm in the days of trials. As Joseph stood. Amen. Joseph stood firm. Light was in him, alone with Potiphar's wife. Sometimes Potiphar, Potiphar's wife didn't even know that his father is a priest. His father made a covenant with God. Alone. How can I sin against God? The fear of God fell so big in his heart that he could sin. And that is the day, the gates of being the, the first man in Egypt Open. Remember during the time when Joseph was reigning in Egypt, he was the force behind everything that was happening. Then Pharaoh was just a face. Hallelujah. Pharaoh was just a rubber stamp. But that is the force that was making everything to go. It opened that day. He refused to sleep with Potiphar's wife because of the fear of God couldn't allow him. Hallelujah. So every weakness you have in your life, you decide to serve God. I've met members tell me, me a desire to serve God, but this addiction, I don't even, if you're addicted, just come here, just come here and sleep while we're praying. Hallelujah. Just come and lay around in his presence. As you come continuously, every day, something will drop in your heart. The fear of God will begin to enter you. And when the fear of God enter you, when other people are speaking of miracles and great things God has done for them, you will also be found in the circle. Hallelujah. You will also one day say, this one happened to me. During that time I was in Marsabit. I found a certain church called Divine Life Sanctuary. 
I remember how pastor was saying here sometimes back. And even me, I'm a good student. You've seen those people who have been here, members of Divine Life Sanctuary. You realize that I'm somebody who do comply so much. I will obey your pastor. Hallelujah. That's why when he assigned me a job, I say they will come here to do it each and every day. Because I'm also a student. You see, the days they began prayers here, when he began to recruit people, when people are going around there, people are speaking in tongues. Others were just coming and sitting here, just wondering, what are people doing here? A time came when they caught fire. Hallelujah. When fire dropped into them. Until today, that fire is still in their lives. Even if some of them left, but we still see don't change, even when they speak outside. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know you can leave a ministry, you say, we have not been mentored there. But we see your mentor in everything you say. Whatever you do, we still see him. Amen. You carry his DNA. We can still see that. So I'm challenging all of us that we must just desire to go higher in hungering for God. When the fear of God comes, no darkness can stand in front of you. Amen. When the fear of God drops in your life, no amount of negativity people can feed you with. No impossibility can stand. Because the devil has got nothing against a man who fears God. He can't accuse him. We call him the accuser of brethren. How will, you, how will he accuse you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Brother Nasefewe. Like you cover the fear of God is not in you. He saw you somewhere. He took you somewhere. He led you somewhere. And you fell somewhere. He will accuse you by that. Even if you come to pray, you feel accused. Hallelujah. It is true. He has got evidence. This and this and this and this. So the fear of God is all we desire for. It's all we desire for. Let it come upon our lives. Most of us young people, because I see here a great population are young. I received salvation back in the year 2012. And until today, I'm still pressing on. Nothing should distract you. You are a great person inside you. Amen. Just continue to tarry. One thing I know, tarrying and being so continuous and common in the house of God, it attracts its fear. And this fear is a mighty key. It's a master key. It opens every door. It opened for Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And look, Daniel was praying in the morning, noontime, evening times. And when they came to accuse him, he said, I will continue. I cannot bow down to idol. Meaning that tarrying before God brought even confidence and boldness to face the kings and speak to them like that. And in the midst of that, what did Daniel do? Daniel continued. And that's how the greatness of his name was revealed. Hallelujah. We live in a dark world. Those people have not read that book of uh, the beginning and the end time of Gentiles. May you go and read it. Your pastor wrote some things there. You know, I really got weakness of reading that book. The day I began to read it, nearly saw my kitab within one day. And I finished it. And I saw how quick Jesus is coming back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. How quick Jesus is coming back. That's why you need to live as if in the next one second everything is going. And also you need to live as somebody will live for the next one million years. When it comes to investment, think like somebody is going to stay in this world for more than a thousand years. When it comes to your righteousness with God, backsliding, know that in the next one second, rapture can happen. Have those two minds. Be wise. The Bible says that the children of the world have become wiser than the sons of God. Hallelujah. Let's be wise in that. So that one should draw you to come to the house of God. That's why I'm saying encourage yourself. Amen. Tell your neighbor encourage yourself to come to the house of God. Talk to him. One is a lala because it's strange. Tell him to encourage themselves to come to the house of God. Encourage yourself to pray. 
Because you need the fear of God to dominate your life. If the fear of God is not in you, everything. In fact, we who are born again, we carry light of God. But that one makes your light so dim. Even the devil himself is asking, is this man in or is outside? Hallelujah. He's not sure whether you are in or you are outside. And he masters you well. And he corners.